for your amazing grace upon us as a commission and as individuals. Can we lift our voices and begin to appreciate God this evening? Let's tell it to God how wonderful he is to us. Let's appreciate God for his amazing grace upon our lives, for his awesome presence amidst us each time we gather like this. Let's say, oh Lord our God, we praise your holy name for your amazing presence, for your amazing grace upon us as a commission and as individuals. Oh Lord, we thank you for your awesome presence in our lives, for your grace and for your mighty acts in our lives every day, every time. Every time we gather together as a commission, we praise you, O oh Lord. We exalt your holy name. Are you lifting your voice to appreciate God? Are you thanking God from the bottom of your heart? Are you appreciative this evening? Are you thanking him for what he has done in your life? For what he has done in your family? For what he has done in your businesses? Thank you, God. O oh Lord, I appreciate you. O oh Lord, I exalt your holy name. O oh Lord, I magnify you. O oh Lord, I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Can we say thank you for your manifest presence during the just concluded youth week and the intercessory set apart? We thank you, Lord, for your awesome presence. We thank you because you moved in our midst even beyond our expectations, even beyond our preparations. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your awesome presence, for what you have done in our midst, in the midst of your church and of your people. We say be the exalted in the name of Jesus. As the church, we return all the glory to you. We say be magnified in the name of Jesus. Can we thank God again and say, God, we thank you for bringing us all into our covenant month of praise. Oh, Lord, we thank you because September is our month, covenant month of praise. We thank you for bringing us all together into this covenant of, of, of praise. We appreciate you. We give you all the glory. We exalt your holy name. We magnify you, God. We say, be the exalted in the name of Jesus. Can we say finally that God, with heart full of thanksgiving, we encounter grace for praise throughout the month of September and all beyond the rest of the year in the name of Jesus. With the heart full of praise and gratitude by the ministration of today, we receive divine encounter to be praiseful throughout this month and beyond in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father. Can we appreciate God for answer prayers in Jesus Mighty name, we are praised. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crowns and worship you. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. Father, we lay a cross and worship you. Say, oh, believe it. Oh, above all other God. Jesus, we lay. Sing, oh, we lift it high, my God, in this place above all other God. <laughs> Father, we lay, we lay and worship you, God.
and into his God with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. This is the prayer. Oh Lord our God, I can't hear you this evening. Oh Lord our God, we thank you for your goodness and mercy towards the Philippine Chapel International. All our service, Lord, we appreciate your name from January up to this moment. Jesus will return every glory to you. We say thank you, Lord, for you are the doer. We return every glory to you. We return every adoration to you. We say thank you, Lord. We have come into your presence this evening with thanks, Lord. We thank you for your goodness in our church. We thank you for your goodness in our family. We thank you for your goodness in our fellowship. Lord, we say we thank you, Lord, for your mercies towards us in Living Point Chapel International in all our services. We say be magnified, be exalted, Lord, be eulogized, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the release of your glory and amazing testimonies in our programs, Lord. We glorify your name for the testimonies so far from January up to this moment. Lord, we are grateful, Lord. We appreciate your name for the amazing testimony in our programs, Lord. At the Word and Power, at Prayer Mountain, Sunday service, all the five weeks, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We thank you for the minister's conference. We thank you for the grace conference. We thank you for what Wellington Conference coming to our fault. We say be exalted. One Lord, thank God for Wellington Conference coming 2023. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord for Wellington Conference 2023. Begin to glorify his name. Begin to thank him. Exalt his holy name. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you. We bless your holy name. We give you glory over all our programs in the name of Jesus. Romans 10 verse 17. So then faith comments by hearing and hearing by the word of God. This is the prayer church. Oh Lord our God. All over Living Spring Chapel International and everyone connected, we receive grace for hearing the word and acting on same. Begins to ask God to release his grace upon everyone for hearing his word and acting upon his word. Begins to tell God to make you the doer of his word and not only the hearer. Malizo Tabraha Shekete. Father Lord, we receive grace for everyone connected. We receive grace for every Living Spring Chapel International member. We receive grace, Lord. Father, for hearing your word and be and doing your word. We ask for grace to be the doer of the word of God. The Bible says, but be ye doer of the word and not hearer alone, lest you deceive yourself. Receive grace to be the doer of the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray and ask God that everyone's act petition be granted tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, we ask by 
and your word. Let everyone's heart petition be granted tonight in the name of Jesus. We ask that every heart desire be granted before you in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 3 verse 3 says, Call unto me and I will answer you. Oh Lord, we ask that you will honor your word in our life tonight. In the name of Jesus, and we grant unto us every heart petition in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that by the word of God today, let there be transforming testimony. Let transforming testimony begin to flow into life and destiny of everyone connected in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we ask that transforming testimony begin to roll into the life of everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask for transforming testimonies via the entrance of your word this evening in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. This is the prayer. O Lord our God. O Lord our God. As we approach this year's family week, and singles program visit every life every home and family connected to living spring chapel international with their desired testimonies can we lift our voices and begin to declare and commit the forthcoming programs into god's hands lift your voice and commit the coming family week and the singles meeting unto god Ask that Lord visit every individual, visit every home, visit every family in the name of Jesus. Visit every home, visit every family, visit every individual that shall be represented in the coming family week and the singles event in the name of Jesus. Via these meetings, broken homes shall be mended. Via these meetings, joyful homes shall be made stronger and happier. Via this meeting, all singles, whether young or matured, shall be united with their spouses, shall be united with their God-ordained spouses in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that your success shall be a portion even in these forthcoming meetings in the name of Jesus. Now ask that Lord establish Living Spring Chapel as a haven of, re of, of refuge in the name of Jesus. Establish Living Spring Chapel as a haven of refuge. Establish Living Spring Chapel as a haven of refuge. Let's pray some more and ask that Living Spring Chapel shall be an epic solution center to everyone, to every home home and every family connected to Living Spring Chapel in the name of Jesus. Lord, we decree that Living Spring Chapel International shall be a heaven of refuge. We decree Living Spring Chapel International shall be an epic solution center in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree Living Spring Chapel Commission shall be a heaven solution in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Isaiah 46, verse 13, the NLT version. For I am ready to set things right, not in the distant future, but right now. I am ready to save Jerusalem and show my glory to Israel. Say the prayer like this. Oh, Lord our God, we decree and declare over our nation, Nigeria, that the Lord himself stands in now. And perfect his glory and righteousness upon our nation. Can we begin to turn that into prayers? Can we begin to power the word in prayers? Can we begin to say it as it is written? The Lord is coming now. Set it now. We decree and declare over our nation Nigeria. That you will step in now. You will step into our situation. You will step into the circumstances of this nation. And you will bring about the turnaround. The turn around that we bring about glory unto your name. Let it happen in our nation, Nigeria. I want you to pray for the city where you are connecting. I want you to pray for the country where you live. 
Connect your city, connect your country. Pray for the good of that country. They pray the same prayer for that nation. That, oh Lord our God, step in now. Step in now. Let there be a different dimension. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the affairs of our nation. Oh Lord our God. We ask for your divine intervention. We ask for your divine intervention. Let your name be glorified again and again. In all aspects of this nation. The scripture says, but as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Let your glory fill our nation. Let it fill Nigeria. He says in his word, I will overturn, overturn, and overturn. Until it is no more. And I will give it. Who tried it is? Lord, overturn situation for us in this country. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, according to your word. He says, and he said, behold, the Lord our God has shown us his glory and his greatness. Show us your glory in Nigeria again and again. In the name of Jesus. Say the prayer like this, our Lord, by your intervention. Cause your glory to unveil a new and better Nigeria at all levels. Cause your glory to unveil a new Nigeria. Cause your glory to unveil a better Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for your divine intervention in the affairs of this nation at all levels. In the name of Jesus. For your divine intervention, can we continue in the place of prayer? Asking and recurring that God intervenes in this nation, Nigeria. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 26, the NLT version. He will send a signal to distant nation far away and whistle to those at the end of the earth. They will come racing towards Jerusalem. This is the prayer church. Oh Lord our God, we thank you for the success of the last World Lifting Conference. Can you lift up your voice and begin to appreciate God for the amazing and wonderful success of last year's World Lifting Conference. Jesus, we thank you. We exalt your holy name. We celebrate you for the wonderful things. I want you to lift up your voice and say as we approach World Lifting Conference 2023, and the 30th anniversary, we receive grace for abiding multitudes from around the world at this year's conference. Can you begin to receive grace for abiding multitude? Begin to decree that they will come and they will stay. They will come from the north. They will come from the south. They will come from the west. They will come from the east. They will not only hear the sounds, but they will stay and they will abide. I want you to begin to intentionally and sincerely ask for abiding souls in this year's World Lifting Conference. Begin to say, Lord, let there be an unprecedented surge of your power through a World Lifting Conference 2023. An unprecedented surge of your power and of your manifestation in this year's World Lifting Conference. Begin to decree, Lord, let there be a torrential release of the reign of instant miracles, instant signs, and pleasant surprises. Begin to ask for instant miracles. In this year's World Lifting Conference, there shall be a manifestation of physical, tangible, solid, sure manifestation of miracles. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17, the message version, but not so on Mount Zion. There's respite there, a safe and a holy place. The family of Jacob will take back their possessions from those who took them from them. Can you lift up your voice and say, Oh Lord my God, this is my Mount Zion. Therefore, I enforce my deliverance tonight. Can you lift up your voice? It is your destiny. It is your prayer. It says, He that told you have received nothing because you never asked. He says, ask now so your joy might be full. Begin to say, Lord, this is my Mount Zion. I therefore ask for my deliverance. I am forced the place of my encounter. I am forced the place of my manifestation. Things I have never seen before will be revealed to me. Instructions I will receive from heaven. After this evening's encounter, I will know exactly what to do. I will do it and the results will show. Begin to decree whatever issue or problem. That escapes last words and power service will not escape tonight's anointing. 
whatever escape last word and power encounter you will not escape tonight's ministration begin to decree i possess my possessions i have my testimonies i possess my possession i have my testimonies as sure as god lives i will be settled this evening hallelujah in jesus mighty name we have prayed can you begin to give god thanks begin to celebrate god because he has answered all our prayers daily as i live as often as i breathe let my whole life be expression of your grace daily as i live as often as i breathe let my whole life be expression of your grace we cry of a father Give him your personal praise. Only God could have saved you, forgave your sin, establish you, give you the Holy Ghost to accompany you. Only God can do what no man can do. He kept your children. He kept your job. He kept your life. You slept. You woke up. You travel. You return. Only God. Only God. Let's worship him. Let's give him glory. Let's adore him. Let's magnify him. All in our worship centers across the nation. Join us. All Living Spring Chapel centers. All over the nation. All TPGF. All over the world. All our online members. And all our followers. Wherever you are. Whatever is possible where you are. Give him praise. Let's give him praise. The more we praise him, the more he will bless us. Give him more praise so he will bless you more. Thank you, Father. We worship you, our maker, our king, our God, our lifter, our savior, our helper, our supplier, our protector. We bow before you. 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 We worship you. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you forever. In Jesus' name we worship.
In Jesus' name, we worship. Your praise has gone up. Your blessings are coming down. You have given God what he loves. He will give you what you need. Nobody connected today shall connect in vain. The sick shall be healed. The down shall be lifted. The lifted shall be further lifted. All of us shall be blessed. In Jesus' name. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please have your seat. Worship him. God bless you. You have done as you always do. Musicians also will bless God for you. Everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Help me welcome your neighbor left and right. If you have any neighbor around you, if there is no neighbor where you are, please welcome yourself. You are welcome. Another time of feeding, another time of receiving, another time of open heaven, another time of having good menu with the Lord. God is not tired of blessing if we are not tired of coming. If we are not tired of watching and coming and listening, God is not tired of blessing. He's going to bless you. He's going to bless you. Please do your jottings. Those are the things we hold there here. We are a listening and a writing people. Don't let any insight, any revelation, any word of God that touched you, don't let it go without capturing it. Capture every revelation in your notebook, including those of you watching online. Please do your jottings. We are all welcome to a new month. This is a new month, the month of September, and we christened it our September to remember. God will do things in righteousness, in pleasantness, that you keep remembering the rest of your life. God will open doors, touch things, turn things around for everyone that will become memorable in your life. According to our practice in this house, in this commission, each month has a focus. Each month has a focus. So let's call it 12 apples for the year. Each month we take a bite. We suck deeply into the focus that by revelation God has given us for the month. Each month has a focus. And this month our focus is on giving God's praise. The whole of this month we are running with the revelation with insight, we are praying prayer, we are doing demonstration on giving praise to God. We call it be praiseful. Be praiseful. It is our month of praise and thanksgiving to God emphasis. Our emphasis this month is on giving praise, thanksgiving to God. That is our emphasis throughout this month. Be praiseful. Only the grateful are praiseful. Only the grateful are praiseful. And only the praiseful qualified for more blessings from God. If you want more blessings from God, give him more praise. Blessings flows will stop when praise giving stops. If you stop giving praise, then you have stopped the release of God's blessings. For God inhabit the praises of his people. Praises to God opens the channels for his blessings. So if you want unending blessings from God, give him unending praise. Continuous praise guarantees continuous blessings. Continuous praise to God Almighty guarantees continuous flow of blessing from him. I'm ministering today on what I titled Praise Exploits. Praise Exploits. The exploits, the wonders, the conquests that giving praise to God 
can give a believer praise exploit. Daniel 11 verse 32. Daniel 11 verse 32. He says the people that know the Lord their God, they shall be strong and they will do exploit. The people that know the Lord their God, they, they shall be strong and they will do exploit. We can also say the people that know how to praise God, the people that know how to be thankful to God and be grateful to God shall do exploits. The people that know how to offer praise and thanksgiving to God all the time, everywhere, they shall do exploit. Praise givers are exploit doers. Praise givers are exploit doers. Praise givers are giant killers. Praise givers are city changers. They move things. Three things I want to harp upon today. Now, this is a whole month and the topic and the theme of praise is a wide one. And all servants of God in the house at different centers are going to be downloading the revelation of God as the Holy Ghost will upload them in their spirit on the area of praise. Let me take this one today. Three things I will emphasize in this topic of tonight, praise exploit. Now, like I said, this is a great theme. And we shall be running as the Holy Ghost gives us the utterance. Number one, praise is what you do, not what you just say. Praise is what to do, not merely say. Mm. Praise is a doing, not just a saying. Praise is active. Praise is action. It's an action word. Praise is an action you take. Praise is something you do. Praise is something you give. Hebrews 13 verse 15. Hebrews 13 verse 15. It says, by him therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continuously. That is the fruit of our lips giving thanks in his name. So, praise is something you give. It's an offering. It's something you do. It's something you activate. Is something you are involved in. It's not that I have had. No. Praise is action. He says, let us offer it. The sacrifice of our lips unto God Almighty. It is not to be learned. It's not theory. Praise is what we practice. I want us to become praise practitioners. Praise givers to God. Praise givers we always receive from him. For that is what God enjoys. As I opened in prayer, I said, since you have given God what he loves, he will give you what you need. Each time praise goes up, blessings come down. Each time praise goes up, blessings come down. There is always a miracle at the other side of praise. Please get to know that as children of God, we are called to live the life of praise and thanksgiving to God. That's what he created us for. These people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. God made us for himself. Not for the devil. Not for sin. Not for sicknesses. Not for diseases. Not for demons to possess us. He made us for himself. To do what? To show his praise. Please get to understand that you are created to give praise to God. That's why Satan or the devil hate Christians so much. Because what happened was that God used us to replace him. Satan, Lucifer, was not originally a bad angel. He was one of the archangels of God. Like angel Michael. Like angel Gabriel. Angel Michael, the archangel Michael, was the, is the angel for war, for battle. Angel Gabriel is the one that carried messages, the one that went to Mary and said, Blessed are thou. But Lucifer was the archangel that gives God's praise. And like I was illustrating some time ago, because of his vantage position, because God loves praise, God loves to be honored, God loves to be hallowed. And that was his own duty. So he has the privilege of getting closer 
to the throne of God that made him envious. And when he saw the, 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 the glory, the beauty, the honor, the aura that was always given to God. The Bible says the day Lucifer was made, music instruments were built into him. That was how powerful. And because of that, the greed and envy and pride entered into him. And he felt, what if I just take over the throne of God? And all this accolade, all this worship will be for me. And the Bible says the day that sin was found in him, he was sent out. And when he was sent out, guess who replaced him? You and I. And you say he will not come after you. <laughs> you took his position. And he said, God has formed us to give him praise. I like everyone listening to me to understand that the primary purpose of God creating you in his image after his likeness is to give him praise. So if you are not giving God's praise, you are off duty. That's his primary reason he created us for. We are created to give him praise. We are created to offer praise. That is what, what we are made for. So praise is not just what you know in theory. It's what you do in practice. Second Samuel chapter 6 verse 14. Second Samuel 6 14. The Bible says, And David danced before the Lord with his might. <laughs> like that. David danced before the Lord. David the king, the commander in chief. And the president, the king of the whole uh, nation, he danced with his might. The Bible says with all his might, praise and worship to God involve spirit, soul, and body. It takes all of you to praise God, to give him worship. Psalm 146 verse 1. Psalm 146 verse 1. Praise ye the Lord, O my soul. Go further. And all that is within me, uh, uh, while I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have my being. While I still have my breath in my nostrils, I will give praise unto the Lord. While I am still able to stand up and walk around and talk and lift my hand and move my leg, I will give praise to God. He said, while I live. Praise is action. Praise is action. Praise is action. There is no passive praise. There is no, you see, you just see me, I'm just quiet. I'm praising God inside. Uh -uh. Praise is action. Dancing to God is submission to God. Dancing to God is submission to God. I'm going to tell you something about dancing today. It involves our singing, raising up our hands, moving our bodies, especially the dancing aspect of praise. Don't be too big to dance before God. Somebody listening? Don't be too big to dance before God. David was the commander in chief. The king. And yes, he danced to the extent that somebody mugged him. And became barren forever. Don't be too big. Don't be too educated. Don't be too sophisticated. Don't be too lifted. Eh? Don't be too what else? So oh. don't be <laughs> too beautiful, too packaged, too dressed up, too bathed up, so that your makeup will not rub off. Let it rub off so that God Himself will make you up. So instead of pancake. It will be his glory. Hallelujah. May I never become so known, so rich, so big that I cannot dance before God. Don't be too be too rich, too known, too educated, too exalted. Not to dance before God. Dancing to God is submission to God. Are you hearing me? So I watch how you will dance next Sunday. I'm going to watch how you get the dance next Sunday. Dance like a baby. Are you hearing me? Dance like a dog welcoming back its owner. How many of you have seen dogs welcoming the owner? 
if the owner has been away for a while. How many of you they are dogs here? Oh, I think I better go and start the other dog now, if she will allow. It's a beautiful scene. When you see the owner arrive after a while, the dog will run right, he will dance to the right, he will raise the hand, he will dance around the owner, he will come back again. Amen. He is submitting, my owner has come. My owner has come. When you are dancing and singing before God, you are submitting to your creator. He is the highest level, one of the highest level of submission. That God, you are my owner. I live because of you. You are the reason I'm alive. David danced before God. Before the whole nation. Please, when it comes to giving praise to God, forget your level in the office. Forget the car you parked outside. Forget the mansion you built. Forget everything because those things were things he gave you. And use everything you have to show him that you love him. Somebody say, I hear. He said, with all my might, while I am still alive, while I can still move my hands and my legs, I will praise the Lord. Psalm 150 verse 4. Psalm 150 verse 4. He says, praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Everyone, please get to know today, get to know this. You are to praise God intentionally. So we are talking about intentional praise. Inten you, you do it intentionally. Intentional praise. Intentional dance before God Almighty. Give God intentional praise. Give God intensive praise. Do it privately, do it publicly. Do it when you are in church, do it when you are in your house. Do it within the family altar. Do it in your house cell. Do it in your zone. Do it when we go on street evangelism. Do it when we come to church. Do it on your own when you have time. Get to know, let this consciousness be in you. Let this keep ringing back to you. He made me to give him praise. Let it keep ringing in your mind. He made me so that I can give him praise. He loves it. And when you give God what he loves, he will give you what you need. Learn dancing steps. Did you hear me? You didn't. Learn, learn dancing steps to praise God. It won't come on its own. You got to learn it. So I give you an assignment. Living Spring Gas. TPGF, I give you an assignment. Google. And say, Google, show me African dancing praise, dancing step to praise God. Make it African. Africans are natural dancers. I don't know which one you did. We are natural dancers. We may not have pro uh, technology goods to export. We can export our dance. Are you hearing me? We are, it's wired into us. So if you can't dance, you are a foreigner among us. Because it's innate. It's, don't you see the idol worshippers? Have you seen the Ogun and the Shogo and the Oro? Have you seen the Igunoko? Have you seen how they will be twerking and dancing and somersaulting for a God that has eyes and cannot see, ears and cannot hear, mouth and cannot talk. But we serve the God Almighty, the creator of the heaven and the earth, the Ale Wileshe of the universe, the one that has the power and our life and our future, the one that has our now and our then, the giver of everything. Why don't you rise up and give him a shout? Why don't you give him a shout? Why don't you shake your body and say, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Have your seat. We are in for a big time this month. We are in for a big time this month. David said to Mikhail, I am not dancing to your father. 
I'm dancing to the God that preferred me to your father. I'm dancing to the God that gave me life. I'm fighting to God that found me as a nobody and he turned me to a somebody. I'm dancing to the God that took me from the back and placed me in the front. I'm dancing to the God that made me a non-entity and turned me into a celebrity. I'm dancing to the God that made me poor and prospered my life. I'm dancing to the God that made me sick and he healed me. The one that made me sick among the people that are important. The one that showed my face to the whole world. The one that gave me a voice to my generation. That is the God I am dancing to. Hallelujah. I'm not dancing to please anybody. In fact, if we are in church and you know who is dancing, you are not dancing. Dance your dance and I dance my dance. Sing your song and I sing my song. Jump your jump and I jump my song. I am jumping to God Almighty. I am jumping to Him, not to you. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Somebody is getting healed now. Somebody is getting delivered now. Frustration is leaving somebody. Depression is leaving somebody. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I will dance to my God. Sit down. Please get to know what that what is not is is so is is spiritually profound and profoundly spiritual. Dancing before God, singing to God, and giving to God. You will ask God to give you capacity to praise Him this month. Give me capacity to praise you. Please don't be too big. To dance before God. Don't be too educated. Don't be too sophisticated. Don't be too beautiful. Don't be too much of a manager. Don't think you are so important. Don't be shy. Don't be ashamed. He created you. He is the reason you are alive. Like I said, it is one of the highest form of submission to God Almighty. Idol worshippers, they dance before their idols. Subjects dance before their kings. Why shouldn't we dance before our maker? Please get to know it's a serious issue. So when we come to church or when we gather to praise and we are dancing, don't be looking at us as if you are our invigilator. As if you want to give us mark. No. You are not our supervisor. <laughs> we are dancing to God that we appreciate so much. And before God, please have this mindset. Be small in your eyes before God. If you want continuous rise, if you want continuous blessing, no matter how much he blesses you, no matter how high you are raised, be like a baby before God. Be small in your eyes before God. Don't let anything suggest to you that you are anything when you come into the house of God. Or when it is time to praise God on your own. Be small. Be like a baby before your God. Somebody say, I hear. Somebody say, I hear. David said, while I am yet alive, I will praise God. You need to see a corpse in the coffin. Do you know every corpse you see was, was, was at one time walking around like you? Jumping around like you? But he's dead, he can't move. He said, only the living can praise God. The dead cannot praise him. While I am yet alive, Nothing will stop me from praising God. Nothing will stop me from dancing before God. Can I hear you say the same? So, before this Sunday, learn some new dancing steps and come and display it here. Are you hearing me? It won't just come on you. You learn it. Those people you see that dance, any type of dance at all, they learned it. Even those who dance for idols, they learn it. Why shouldn't we learn dancing to God? Why, don't we, why shouldn't we learn singing unto God? You can't sing a song you don't know except you want to sing in the spirit. So please, lock your door, off your phone, except you are looking at the dancing. Learn some new dancing steps. And whether on your own, whether private or public, learn to dance to God. You will see more blessings that way. Number two, 
There is always something to praise God for. There is always something to praise God for. No matter what happens. No matter what is happening. No matter what may happen. There is always something to thank God and to praise him for. Good time. Not so good time. Bad time. There is always something to praise God. I say to all my listeners today. Always look for a praise point in whatever happens to you. No matter how bad, no matter how ugly. It is in the eyes of human beings that certain situations are bad, are ugly. He said all things, Romans chapter 8 verse 28. He said all things work together for good for them that love God and those that are called according to his purpose. But even if in the eye of human beings the situation look bad, look for something to praise God for. If you lost something, thank God you didn't lose your life. You had a ghastly motor accident. The car mangled. But you came out. Roll on the floor and say, I am yet alive. The God that provided that car will provide another one. No matter what is happening to you, find a situation, a point of praise. Find a point of praise in whatever may be happening. There is always something to praise God for. Psalm 34 verse 1. Psalm 34 verse 1. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I like that. I will praise the Lord at all times. Not selected times. Not when money is coming in and things are happy and I pass my exam and I got a new baby, and I moved to a new house, and I got my visa, and I got my green passport, I got my citizenship, I got my promotion. No. Those are good times to praise God, but at other time too, he said, I will praise the Lord at all times. At all times. Please, let no one see you crying again. Let them see you singing. Let no one see you mourning. Again, let them see you singing and dancing. Please, morning, afternoon, and night. Money or no money, give praise to God. Job or no job, give praise to God. Marriage or no marriage, give praise to God. Visa or no visa, give praise to God. Promotion or no promotion, give praise to God. You pass your exam, you fail it, give praise to God. Baby has not yet come. Give praise to God. Marriage has not yet happened. Give praise to God. At all times. Let nobody catch you mourning. Are you hearing me? The mourning of a Christian is a mockery to redemption. Let no one find you mocking God. God is good at all times. Even things that look bad to us. To us, God is good. Can somebody say God is good? Can somebody say God is good? Job chapter 3 verse 15. Job 13. Sorry, Job 13 verse 15. Job said, even though he slay me, even though he's killing me, even though I am not getting what I thought I would get, I will yet trust him. I will yet trust him enough to praise him. Even though he slay me, even though what I'm asking for has not come. Even though people mock me. This is your God. Job's wife went to him and said, Cause God that died. This God you carry for your head. He's not helping you. Even when people misunderstand me. I will praise this God at all times. Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 and 18. And I want us to read it together. Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 and 18. Can we go? Although the fig tree, I can't hear you, can we start again? Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall eat no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no heart in the stall. Next verse, yea, that's what I like there, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. Hallelujah. Though what I'm waiting for has not yet come. 
Though people misunderstand me and call me names, I will yet be rejoicing. The fig tree may not blossom. The job I'm doing may not bring much money. The ministry may not yet have grown. Yet, I will keep rejoicing. Let nothing take your joy. He said, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Whatever takes your joy has taken your strength. Whatever has, takes your joy has taken your strength. Although all the, Paul the Apostle wrote all the possible things that can make a Christian regret following Jesus. He said nakedness or peril, hunger or disappointment. He said in all these things we are more than a conqueror. Let that mindset be in you. Let nothing push you down. Let nothing take away your joy. Let nothing take away your dancing step. Look at verse 18. In verse 18, he says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord of my salvation. Please, let your faith, everybody listen to this, let your faith grow and mature to a level that nobody will have any reason to come and encourage you. Let your faith grow to a level that nobody will have any cause to come and sympathize with you. Let your faith grow to a level that nobody will have any reason to come and console you. Before they come, console yourself. He said, and David encouraged himself. Let nobody, let no sympathizers come and dump their shoe at your entrance. Something happened to a Christian and we are saying, how do we break this news to him? Who will break this news? How will he take it? The husband just got involved in an accident and died. How do we tell the wife? The wife was involved in a situation and she passed on. The son just passed on. The daughter just passed on. He just lost his job. How do we break this news? The parents just passed on. Who will break this news? Let's call for his pastor. Let's call for his friends. So at least when he sees them, let's get a doctor around. In case it's uncontrollable, we can sedate him. Let that not be your portion. That's a disservice to redemption. That means you don't know the Lord that you serve. That means you don't know the purpose of your existence and the purpose of God. Whatever God does is good. I want to blow some people's faith here today. Whatever God does is good. Get to a level of life. Whatever God does is good. God can never be wrong. And he doesn't do evil. It is to us that he looks like evil. Look, be in a position that whatever happens... When people come to console you, you are there preaching to them. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? How do we say that to me? He will cry and cry. I want to die. That was, I was an elder. It's, it's long gone now. Many years ago, it is our church. Lost her first son. That one was in U.S. Doing good. Something happened, he died. I have told you in life, good thing will happen. Not so good things will happen. Things we pray for will happen. Sometimes what we pray against will also happen. We are limited. Only God is sovereign. He does what he likes, when he likes it, the way he likes it. And nobody can say, why did you do this? Did he consult you before creating you? Did he consult you? Before making you a woman or a man? And all the blessings around you, was it by your own power? How do we tell her? How do we tell him? And they said to me, Mama is crying. We have tried to console her. She cannot. She has cried and cried. I called Mama on the phone. I spoke. He said, no, no. He's better. I die. He's better. I die. You have seven children. One left. What about the other six? Aren't you grateful? Job lost all his children in one day. And he says, yet, though he slay me, are we not going to the same heaven? Is it not the same God? They said she cried and cried and cried until she couldn't see again. Ha, ha. 
We had his Christianity. We had his faith. Is it only when it is good? No. Oh, I'm preaching the heart of Christianity to you tonight. God is good at all times. He doesn't do evil. It is to us, it looks like evil. Why should my son die? Why should my daughter die? Why should I leave my job? Why should I lose my husband? Why should I lose my wife? Well, there are some questions we have no answer to until we see him. He said, here we know partly. And we see partly. He's the one that has the whole script in his hand. And that is why he's God. If you know as much as you know, then you have become another God. He is God. Please get to know that whatever happened to a child of God, God remains God. Let nobody come and console you. Oh yes, it could be painful to the body. Oh, you want to cry? There is room for that. Cry in your room, but smile outside. Because by the time you begin to cry and everybody is holding you, they will be saying, where is that God? Don't let them say, where is that God? And don't let you say, where is God when this happened to me? Where is God? Those are not statements of faith. God is good at all times. Somebody say, I hear. Some of you don't like me again. But this is the truth. This is the word of God. Love God no matter. David said, is the boy dead? Is the boy dead? He said, can you see? Oh, King live forever. We don't know how to tell you. Don't know. Please, put water in my bathroom. Prepare my food. I want to eat. Take my bath. Get myself perfume. Set the table before me. And when the king was eating, they went to him. They said, King, ah, we can't understand this. When the boy was sick, we all console you, eat. You said no. You put dust on yourself. You were praying. You were rolling on the floor. Now the boy is dead. And we are saying, how do we break the news? Then you have broken the news yourself. He said, while he was yet sick, I thought if I did all those things, God could save him. But now God has taken him. He can come to us. We are the one that will go to him. That is the mentality of a child of God. In other words, whatever. We don't pray for bad things. Bad things will not happen to you. Bad things will not happen to you. Nobody pray for bad things. But bad things do happen. And when they happen for a child of God, let nobody console you forever. Let no somebody, let nobody sympathize with you forever. Let nobody plead with you. Whatever happens, as long as you can still breathe, move on with life. Say I hear. Move on with life. Move on with life. Know that God is sovereign. Let nobody plead with you forever. Please get to know that. That whatever happens, there is a point of praise. Fire Miss Hart. Burn down your whole shop. Where is my son? Where is my daughter? They are at school. Thank God my children are not there. It's enough. Something. Just find something. You have injury. They rush you to the hospital. Thank God I am available to be treated. Just look for something to praise God for. It is whatever you praise God for that gets a rescue from heaven. Somebody say, I hear. Somebody, you don't need anybody to come and sympathize with you if you are a child of God. No, no, no. That is a, a bad advertisement for the kingdom and for the faith that you proclaim that you have. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 19. Ephesians 5, 19. He says, speaking to yourselves. There are moments we need to speak to ourselves. Speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Singing and making melody. Speaking to yourself. We got to be careful the kind of messages we Pentecostals preached. We Pentecostals, we, some, we, in, in many issues, we go to the extreme. We preach what is unreal. We talk as if only good things should happen to children of God. That's what we prayed for. But God is sovereign. I was at a pastor's meeting. Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. And they were talking, that is the body of all Pentecostals in Nigeria. And somebody suggested 
Shouldn't we have a rest park? You know what a rest park is? You know what a rest park is? Where the dead bodies are buried. Pentecostal has none. You know why? We don't want to think of death. <laughs> we don't want to think of death. And whether we like it or not, everybody will die one day. And somebody said, it's a shame. When we lose anybody in the Pentecostals, we then go to the Orthodox people begging them for burial place. And it comes at a very high cost. But we don't want to think of having a rest pack so that because we don't want to think of death. Should they, well, aren't we going to die? Is anybody going to live here forever? Where is your great grandmother? Where is your grandfather? Some of us don't even have our fathers again. How many of you don't have your father and your mother again? Your father and your mother are gone. Let me see how many orphans are here. We should take you to orphanage. I will be the number one. So where is your father? Where is your mother? Where is your grandfather? Where is your grandmother? Don't you know that one day everybody will die? Pentecostals don't want to think about it. So we preach our people to a level that when negative things happen, they lose their faith. Because we never tell them that life has both pros and cons. We never tell them. Please, let's be real for once. Let's be real for once. Whatever happens, it doesn't change God's status. It doesn't change God's level. God remains God. Is that all right? Did you get that? Speaking to yourself. There are moments when we speak to ourselves. Don't let anybody console you forever. Don't let anybody come around you and crying around you in order to console you forever. That's not Christianity. That's not maturity. Be matured enough to be like Job. Whatever happens, God remains. They say, cause God and die. He said, no. I will never turn my back against God. Neither will I utter any word. Contrary to the fact that God is good. He knows the best. He does the best. Whatever God does is the best. Say, I hear. Say, I hear. Whatever God has done, glory be to his name. That's what Christianity is. And you move on. And you move on. I was speaking at a burial service the other week. A pastor lost his wife. And I said to them, Christians don't die. They change locations. We don't die. He has taken our death. We sleep, but we don't die. Diet is annihilation. It doesn't exist again. No. Christians don't die. But Christians can change location. Paul the Apostle said, absent in the body, present with the Lord. I am not preaching this because anybody will die. I'm just saying that this is the truth. Whatever happens, it doesn't even have to be death. I have seen people who went back from the Lord because thieves took their cars. They came to church with their cars and the cars was taken away. And he said, where was God? Where was God? That my car, where are the angels they talk about? Where are the keepers? This is not a small fry in the church. I said, ha, bro, ha, ha, ha. And that was enough to go cool. Was it your power that gave you the car? Who told you God cannot give you time times better than that car? Where is your faith? Jesus will say, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Please get to know Jesus remains the Lord no matter what happens. That's Christianity. Nothing can pull me back. I cannot be discouraged. I cannot be dissuaded. Nothing. If God will not do one thing more for me, till I see him in glory, he remains the Lord. That's the mindset of a Christian. He says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. But crying every day for material things. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things shall be added. Things you are crying and denying God about. Were the things he added to it. He was the one that gave you. Job said, God gave God. God took away glory be to his name. He was the one that gave you the car. That gave you the job, that gave you the daughter, that gave you the son, that gave you whatever you have. You didn't, did anybody come from heaven with a key to a house? 
Oh, oh, with, with a PhD degree. What, what of masters? Okay, what about the first degree? You came with chain of degree in your neck. We came empty. Whatever we have was given by God. So, if for any reason it's lost, he knows how to replace it. Are you hearing me? So, please, get to a level where you will find something to praise God for, no matter what happens. Once they are alive, there is hope. Number three, as we get ready to close, praise brings God's presence. Our praise brings God's presence to our situation. What happened may be painful, but when you give praise to God, you are bringing him to the situation. The Bible says, Oh God, that inhabitates the praises of his people. Second Kings chapter 3, verse 15. Second Kings chapter 3, verse 15. The Bible says, But now, Elisha, the prophet was talking here, but now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when the minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him. Can you see that? Even for him to prophesy, bring the mind of God, somebody has to go on music. Praise and worship has to be on for the presence of God to come down. There are some ministers, have you seen healing crusade, healing meetings? Somebody has to be on the keyboard. Somebody has to go because nothing brings God's presence like praise, like worship. If you want God's presence on you like a perfume, be a praise giver. Whatever situation on your own, be Christianity is a singing religion. Say singing to yourself in psalms and in hymns. Sing. Be a singing person. Let your heart be a singing heart. Bring the presence of God to your situation all the time. You know the story of King Saul too well. 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 23. 1 Samuel 16, 23. I'm going to anchor this message on this. It says, and it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well and the evil spirit departed from him. Can you see deliverance through praise worship? The presence of God came down. The other time he came on Elisha. And he was able to bring a message from God. This time he came upon a person that was under demonic possession. And the demons left. The presence of God. Praise, playing instrument, brought the presence of God. And the demons left. In any home, in any life, in any office, in any setup. Where praise is of a priority. Demons cannot exist there. The atmosphere becomes too hot for them. Praise to God. Brings heat upon demons that they cannot get. He said, Touch not my anointed and do my prophet know how. That's the anointed that know how to give him praise. So from today, get to know that praise to God brings exploits to the life of a Christian. Get to your shop every morning and give praise to God. Get to your office and raise a song. Raise a praise altar in your house. Be a praise machine yourself because that's what he created you for. Sing as you drive. Sing as you cook. Sing in your bathroom. Sing everywhere you are. Be a singing agent to God. Bring his presence all the time. Good time. Bad time. When others are complaining, you'll be praising. And see the difference it will make. It will make a great difference. It's a tool. Next time, I'll be talking to you about what praise triggers what it triggers, what it releases. Praise to God Almighty. That is our message this month. Get ready to give God sweet time, beautiful time of praise and let it be part of your life on your own, in your family, husband and wife, parents and children, workers and uh, employers and, their, and your workers everywhere you are, in your house, at the zona meeting, at the street rally. Praise Dance intentionally. And I want us to start it tonight. I'm going to give you two minutes to dance. Be on the keyboard. Be on the instrument. You are going to dance your dance. I am going to dance my dance. Don't look at me. I'm not dancing for you. 
I'm not that. And as we dance now, like we were dancing and jumping the other time, I see sicknesses jumping out. I see doors opening. Do you know, praise giving to God is a spiritual button. It's a spiritual button. As you are dancing, you are pressing buttons to open difficult doors. It will amaze you. By the time you get there tomorrow, or next time, or next week, what you have labored and tried and stressed to get is made available to you. Why? Praise has opened the door. Rise up, everybody. Let's give God one minute or two minutes of, of that. Just dance anyhow. Just dance your dance. Play the keyboard. Play on the music. And everybody, sing and dance to God. You want to jump a little? You want to dance a little? You want to shake your body? You want to pace up and down? Everybody, open your mouth. Dance and sing unto God. Sing your song and I will sing my song. Dance your dance and I will dance my dance. We are dancing to God Almighty in all the centers. In all the centers. Rise up and give God your own dance. Rise up and sing your own song. I see yokes breaking. I see wombs opening. I see appointment letters distributed. I see visas awarded. I see marriages happening. I see connection. I see elevation. I see promotion. I see wellness. I see turn around. Give him dance. Give him a dance. Give him a dance. Give him a song. Sing your song. Dance your dance to God Almighty. Dance your dance. Sing your song. He is a good God. He is a glorious God. Oh yes. Oh yes. Give him your dance. 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 Great God. Good God. Wonderful God. Great God. I dance unto you. I sing unto you. I worship you. Hey. Holy God. Beautiful God. Emmanuel God. Elevated God. Miracle walking God. Baby giving God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. We love. We thank. We bless. Sing some more. nothing. You won't dance for nothing. I see your doors opening. I see keys being handed over. I see God distributing babies. I see wedding rings being exchanged. I see visa. I see papers. I see profit. I see progress. I see healing. I see death sentences being cancelled. In the name of Jesus. As you were dancing your miracles were coming. Heavens opened and there was outpouring. What you lacked before will now be in abundance. What you are struggling to get will now come to you on, on its own. Everyone that danced online at our centers here, you will have a miracle to testify about. There will be great manifestation connected to this, your dance. In Jesus' name. Lift up your two hands and give him all the glory. Thank you. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. We magnify you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, we worship. Let your amen pull a miracle. Let your amen pull a miracle. I saw you sweating. You have sweated out sicknesses and diseases. I saw you sweating. Now sweetness will now be added to you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let's have our seats. Were you blessed? Please intentionally learn how to dance. And dance before God. And let it be part of your life forever. Let it be your life mantra forever. Whatever happens, 
Jesus remain the Lord. Nobody will console and comfort me forever. I have Jesus. Everything he does is right. That is the mindset of a child of God. All our online members and viewers, it is time to sow your thanksgiving offering seed to God. Because part of the praise and worship to God is to also give him. You are entitled to God through this commission. The information is on your screen now. Go ahead and do your tithing and do your sacrificial giving and do your battle seed giving. Whatever God lays in your heart. You want to do it through the paper, whatever country you are all over the world. You want to do it through our local account number. They are all on your screen. Go ahead and do as God lays in your heart. Our pastors in all our centers will be coming to the pulpit to do the offering and the titan and the announcement. Let all of us remember that Thursday is our prayer mountain service at Goshen Land, Lagos, at Dominion City, Ibadan. It's at Kolobo, Abel Kuta, at Oshobo, Akure, Uyo, and all our Ampotako centers. Uh, it's only Abuja that holds their own for now on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, 12 to 2 p.m. But all other centers is Thursday, 7 to 9 a.m. for service, and 9 to 9 30 to 11 30 a.m. second service. Please note that. Uh, we have prayed for you. The Lord bless you. Pastors, go to your pulpit and tidy up the service and close the service wherever you are. In Jesus' name. Media, greet them and let them go so that we can close this service here also. Dominion City, are you okay? Yes, sir. That's how